talking more, Palumbo, but first, I, I just want to say thank you. You don't keep up with the channel as much as I do, but uh, in the past three or four weeks, we've really kind of blown up. Uh, people like us when we, uh, I guess, slag on Palumbo, the, uh, yeah. the dagger in the mind, or dagger of the mind episode. Did really well for us. It's getting more and more views, and I'm loving there's more and more Columbos, and also we started getting a few haters, and I would say this kind of makes us laugh as comedians. Mm -hmm. we, uh, We're used we, to that, actually. Yeah, we, we, we get that from time to time, and to the fellow that called us, was it Chaves? Chaves or Chaves, yeah. Yeah, Chaves or Chaves, which we found out meant an English red yeah, or, or British, uh, British trailer park. Yeah, thank you. Actually, I, I, that's, I, that's, that's the word we like to say to this. Thank you. Is I'm from Portsmouth, Virginia, not Portsmouth, England. But the fact that you thought we were from from England, appreciate it, right? Uh, or that we were trailer friends. Again, not that far off. Like, I don't disagree with it. So please yeah. keep writing in, and I agree with you. I'm falling in love with this. But tonight, we're not here to talk about haters. We're here to talk about Columbo. Yeah, right. although in there, a different way. <laughs> there may be some hate. So we did a, a video uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, where I got us a present. We got Columbo, the Helter Skelter murders. Yes, and he got me this about two months ago, and I'd like to say that uh, he was ready to film it. My, my partner was ready to, perform, uh, to, to film this about a week later. Um, I felt like I was back in college again because he would keep talking to me about it. Did you finish that thing? I'm like, ah, no, no, not yet, not yet, but we'll get to why in a minute. Yeah, I, I flew through the book. I don't know what it is. Um, uh, they were short chapters when I finally got back into it. We'll, we'll get to that, but we read this. So, I mean, how ridiculous is it that they made a, a Columbo series and a book, which we're going to get to in a minute, and the Helter Skelter murders to bring it in with Charles Manson? Yeah. we got a lot to talk about in this episode. Yeah, yeah so to really break down the plot, um, you can get the book on Amazon. It's actually not that uh, expensive. Um, if you want, um, we'll save our reviews till after the episode. You can decide whether you want to get it or not. A uh, really simple uh, um, owner of a very high-end department store in LA. He owns a high-end department store, plus he dabbles in making movies, which that was kind of weird too. He's got a wife that he no longer loves and despises. He's got a young, hot actress girlfriend, and they decide to murder the wife. The, the, the murderer he's talking about was Mr. Youssef Corey. Yes, Yusef Corey was the name of the murderer. So he decides, he and his girlfriend decide to murder his wife because she won't grant him a divorce. And just to get the names right because they make them up, we're going to call her Kim. Is that yeah, what her name is? Yeah. Kim and, is the other murderer. Yeah. Kim and Yusef are the two yep. murderers. Mm -hmm. And they uh, sneak into Yusef's mansion where the wife is with her boyfriend and they got these uh, weird kind of Asian knives that has like this weird hilt that you can almost punch. It's almost like a rapier, it seems like, or something like that. I couldn't quite understand it. Or, like, a brass knot. I, I, I yeah. 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 But so you could, yeah, you could really drive it into somebody with a lot of force. Yeah. So they kill uh, the wife and the wife's lover. Uh, I guess a houseboy that they had. <laughs> There's a houseboy, yeah. Yeah. Who just happened to be in the house. He wasn't supposed to be there, so they had to kill him as well. And they try to pin it on a member of the Charles Manson gang, or cult, yeah. part of the Manson family. Right. Which, okay, uh, I mean, I'll buy something. Columbo is Los Angeles, so is it, you know, Charles Manson is definitely California, and, and, and with movies, so I, I'll buy a little yeah. bit of this. But now, this takes place in 93, so it's an older Columbo, but uh, they do say that he worked on the Manson case back in the day when he was a young detective. Yes. So let's get to this. I know you said not a review on this. I want to ask this question of you. Did you, uh, do you want to get to the rest of the plot? Or? Uh, I don't think the, the we can get the okay. little details here and there, there, but it is still a Hal Ketchum. So let's get this out of the way. We've talked about what makes Columbo so special is, is the Hal Ketchum, and we don't need to go over that again because we've done that in the series. Yeah, the same thing. With we the, see the murder. Yeah. Uh, I, Columbo's not in the first quarter of the book, I would say. He spent a right. lot of time getting to know the murderer and his girlfriend and their comings and goings and things like that, and then you get to the murder, and then eventually, just like the episode, Columbo shows up to investigate. Which I'm gonna be critical of, and I apologize for starting right off critical. This is one of those weird places to where, A, I, I, I wouldn't say I'm the most studious of people, but when it comes to things I love, I do whip through books, uh, if I love it. This was one that took me a long time, because if it wasn't any who done it to it, 
And as you know, we've talked about before, we work a lot with uh, um, improv uh, um, murder mysteries. Murder mysteries. So it, this one kind of, I didn't like reading it. And I, I think I'm just obsessed with Peter Paul playing it. So mm -hmm. I think I had like, my favorite parts of this book were the characters parts about Columbo. I enjoyed that. Right. I did enjoy, you can tell the man, William, William Harrington, I think he wrote it, was a fan, without a doubt, and that he plays around with some, some uh, the bowling, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Right? The bowling league, or whoever he's in. Or his wife's bowling yes. league. Yes, yes, right, that's right, that's right. Bowler. And I enjoyed also the gun, if you'd like to go into that part. Uh, yeah, so that's something, when you just happen to open the book, when we were doing kind of like the unboxing video, you noticed Columbo talking about his revolver, which you did not like. Pissed me off, yeah. I, and we're gonna get to later. He uses it in the later seasons. And somebody will fact check me on this, but he has to have a gun in the undercover later seasons on it. I even hated that one. Yeah. Right, but it turns out in this one he has a gun, but he, what he keeps it in the glove compartment yeah. of his uh, car. And he has to re-up his certification. So his uh, his captain is hammering on him. You got to go to the gun range and certify with this gun. Which I liked mm -hmm. this part of the book. I like Mr. Harrington. I, I did yeah. like this. I, again, I'm sorry I picked it out of that random page, but I liked it. Yeah, I yeah. liked the humor of it. Yeah, which I liked that part. I enjoyed you know Columbo being Columbo, except for you brought up something interesting. This this writer and, and we do write. Remember, we're the writers. We do off Broadway musicals. Mm -hmm. We have one right now playing out in Las Vegas, a uh, uh, Sex in the City musical parody playing out there that we don't have credit on, but Tim, we're going to goddamn get that credit soon. Uh, but having said that, we uh, he pulls an Agatha Christie at the end. He does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's one of those, hey, he gets all the suspects together. As if it's a whodunit. This is where, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to talk about it. I didn't like this book. Right. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those things like when you're reading uh, a whodunit mystery and they gather everybody together at the end, that part is cool. It's a trope, you, the, yeah, matter, yeah. You, the reader, don't know who the killer is, but here you do know the killer. And I, I think that they may have done it a couple of times. They have. They have. And again, know. I'm really picking on right now it's in a reading fashion, and this was rare. I mean, you think about how many times we say in life, um, the book's better than the movie. Yeah, and this is one of those moments, not so much. Yeah. Right. Well, I do have to tell you this, we, we, we dork out this one's about. Did you know, and you can fact check this guy, we like this fact checking, mm -hmm. Columbo snuck in the top 10 sexiest characters in 1970. Did he really? Yeah, he hit bigger with housewives than you would think. I can see that. Yeah, I can too. I can Apparently it was housewives. I was reading this the other day online, and I was like, that is awesome. Why do you think that is? I use it because, I mean, he talks about his wife all the time. Oh my gosh. Very, yeah. He's, he's the most devoted husband ever and more See, even this one, he talks about her quite a yeah. bit. So, I would say I enjoyed it because uh, we were joking around it. It's it's kind of like fan fiction. Yeah. Not necessarily good no. fan fiction. The, uh, oh, so let's get to Charlie Manson. So, yeah. uh, one of uh, Corey's employees used to be like on the fringe of the Manson family. Puss do good. Yeah, that was her name. Puss but this is true on the trivia too, is apparently he's misspelled it one time in either the the, um, the marketing or the jacket where it was dogwood that got turned into do good and it, that, that should tell you a little bit about the production, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was like <laughs> that weird thing. It's they like we called some different names yeah. through the course of the book. So yeah, so Corey is trying to pin it on her to make it seem like uh, a new Manson family has sprung up. And at one point, Columbo goes to San Quentin or wherever Charlie. She did used to be in, a, in the cult. Yeah, she yeah. was but a fringe member. Exactly. She yeah. thought she was like, you know, Charlie's right hand woman. Columbo goes and actually has a meeting with Charles yeah. Manson and he doesn't even remember who she is. No, it's yeah. the most superfluous kind of scene ever. But exactly. And but really short. And yeah. like, I was like hoping. Author didn't want to mess with it almost, but he, he named it. So yeah. it's just a little weird, it's like if I'm going to name it Charlie Manson, it really has nothing to do with Charlie Manson. And the way you read the dust jacket and everything, you think it's going to be one of those Silence of the Lambs, Clarice and Hannibal Lecter. They even bring it up in there about Silence of the Lambs. It's the scariest thing since Silence of the Lambs, I read, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And um, It's not. No, it is not <laughs> even. It's <laughs> not even is wrong in the first here, exactly. Yeah. Um, now he returns in an all-new mystery to face the legacy of one of history's most infamous killers. 
Um, but did they say anything else about Charles Manson? I thought they did. And whether Manson himself is ordering a fresh new round of atrocities from his San Quentin prison cell. But to solve this case, Columbo will have to face evil incarnate, the mad, madman known simply as Charles. Yeah, and, and I'm glad you just said this because you've given me a, this is a realization on camera here with this. It's, it's almost like the author did see Silence of the Lambs. Because right. the meeting with Manson, he's sort of setting up to be that, like you just said, the Clarice and, and, and uh, Hannibal moment. That was not the big. No, there was and no plus, drama. I would there. love to see Hannibal Lecter, though, and Columbo in the same episode. <laughs> that would, I think, I don't think Hannibal Lecter would like Columbo. No. I think he would find him so, and even though he's You're smart. Yeah. Even though he's smart, I think. His like his little ticks and quirks and stuff would get on Hannibal's nerves. Well, and he nerves. likes his refinement. I love that now we're talking about Hannibal Lecter. But yeah, Hannibal Lecter. That would have been a better. I book. want this scene. If we can fan fiction and write Columbo uh, uh, interviewing Hannibal Lecter, I, I'm down with that. And by the way, I will send this to y'all free. It won't cost you the thirteen ninety nine or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. you'll yeah. write it and you'll just post it online for free so people can uh, check it out. All right, so let's do good. Uh, I don't even, do we even need to go that far? I mean, the ending. Let's go to the ending. So they try to pin it on him. There's a couple things to put in there. That, like, I mean, I have to give William Harrington some credit. He's definitely, you can tell, he's a fan of this. He, th there's all these red herrings we have with Puss Do Good. But then you have crack cocaine shows up in this to where Columbo doesn't tell the man, uh, Yusuf Corey, that there's four, four wrongs. Yeah, so Yusuf planted crack cocaine in his wife's purse to make it seem that maybe it was like a drug murder gone yeah. bad or something. Of course, the autopsy doesn't show anything. So at the end, they get all these uh, suspects and characters together, and he starts laying out his plan, and uh, Kim, the girlfriend, starts to think that, you know, he's on to us, we're in trouble, and starts to break down. And it's a weird moment for Columbo, almost harking back to prescription murder, where the first one, the very first one, where he kind of a jerk. He starts really hammering her and talking to Corey. He's like, "Look at him. He's <laughs> gonna break. Dude, you can't control this woman. Look at him. She's in tears already. I've already gotten to all the ed evidence. Just give it up now. There's no way this woman is going to basically like I got a nose for it. Yeah, going down. Yeah, uh, and uh, Yusef is like, no." Everything you have is circumstantial. This and this and this. The and the, and, the, yeah, and yeah. the and the crack cocaine and Colin was like, ah, I never told you yep. it was crack cocaine. He yep. must have goes and told me that there were four rocks of mm -hmm. crack cocaine. And he's like, I didn't know there were four rocks. Yep. And again, you know, old tropes, old trope. Yeah. But again, also very circumstantial. A good lawyer could get Columbo uh, could get Yusef out of this. I could have sworn I heard a deputy say four. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I love what you said, character choice. Let's get back to what I love about Columbo. He's right. When you saw that, was it prescription murder? Is that what you said? Yeah. What it, the very first one. Yeah. Is it, yeah Whatever it was called. Prescription for murder, but yeah. I the, can't keep, all I can think of is Dick Van Dyke when he says that. Oh, that's diagnosis of murder. But anyway, is, uh, of course, Dick Van Dyke's in one of these. Yeah, anyway, exactly. anyway. But uh, he's, as he said, he's a jerk, but as an actor, and we're both, and you can pick on us all you want, we are actors, is that we love watching this because the Columbo you see in that first one is not that way. He's actually very sweet to his, his to most of his uh, suspects. But and throughout it, this, he's sweet to Kim, the, the, the actress slash model. He yeah. likes her. He does. But he does not like Yusef. He kind of... Well, I think that's the scary one thing about Columbo. He's pretty with the people that always helped the killer, but it wasn't their idea. Right. He is a little more forgiving. He's always more forgiving of him. I've got yeah. a few in mind right now, but I'd like to say that the fact that we are getting all these people, I would love for y'all to read it and just say, hey, Brad, this is crazy. I really enjoyed getting into it because I can get into fan fiction. I can get into things that are fun and things we love. I just wonder what y'all think about the how catch them as a read. I just don't like the format as a that read. That and the whole Helter Skelter thing was, you didn't uh, need it. It, yeah, it was a stretch. So yeah. would you recommend this book? No. All right. No, I mean, I, I'd say, all right, how about this? Columbo fans that love Columbo, you're going to read it anyway. You know what I mean? Because I, I I would die for another Columbo to come out right now. Yeah, but, that's true. But but no, I mean guys, it it would not be if it was an episode. It would not be the top of our list. I, mean, I, 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 I don't know if I got to see Peter Falk go up against a Charles Manson. But he doesn't. He doesn't. He spends like all of five minutes in you know an yeah. interrogation room with Charles Manson, and Manson's not crazy or anything like that. He's like, I don't know this girl. I was with a lot of girls. I don't know who she is. Like. It wasn't a crazy Charles Manson. It was a very subdued Charles Manson. Like, if you're going to have Charles Manson, let's get 
I, I would say we both kind of gave a thumbs down. I enjoyed it more just because it's something new, Colombo, that um, I got to experience. Now, what do we have coming up next? Okay, we're going to be coming to y'all back to Colombo just because this took forever, and I think he really I wore his nerves on this. Plus, I just I want to get back to my man. Um, we're going with two. I'll tell the first one. Um, I'm going to go with one because you have something to say about it. I'll go with, we're going back to original series on this. Mm-hmm. One of the ones that I find the most compelling is the Stitch and Crime. It's the Leonard Nimoy as a doctor uh, in Colombo versus a very, very evil, sinister Leonard Nimoy yeah. in a great episode, and I'll leave it at that. And we are going to finally jump into the later <laughs> series of Colombo, and we're going to do Colombo Goes to College. Yes, and I will say, I think it may be my favorite of the new series. You think so? I, yes, I think this... You and I just, well, you know, we won't say anymore. We had a lot of fun with that. Episode. Right. Yes. Uh, and then one more thing. One more thing. This will excite you. Yeah. Is that I couldn't help myself. I oh. did get some more Columbo books. <laughs> so I did get us Columbo and the Grassy Knoll. Oh, no. <laughs> Columbo <laughs> solves the JFK assassination. <laughs> I'm assuming. That's, I mean, that's not a kind of. Our greatest detective tackles our greatest unsolved crime. What a fascinating idea. Is it? Now, I did. I'm not going to make you read this. I also got Columbo the Glitter Murder, which is not like Columbo tries to solve some historical thing. It's just a normal... uh, I'll probably let that one. All right, I'll let you borrow. I just just finished it. Yeah, we got some time. But, um... So, yeah, we'll get to these eventually. Mm -hmm. Um... I have favorite, ideas. I have what did that so for you? Favorite part of the book, least favorite part of the book. I, I think I, I like the scenes with Columbo. I like the scenes with Columbo interrogating, uh, or when he, she keeps on talking to the, the girlfriend. Because again, there's a sweetness there, um, a little bit of embarrassment. She's a lingerie model. She actually gives him lingerie to give to Mrs. Columbo, and he describes how that went. So, I mean, I thought that was kind of fun. Yeah, but my, my favorite part, and I think the one we talked about was the gun, because I had read that and was so disappointed. I'm like, oh, okay, he's playing yeah. with it. And the least favorite part. Uh, anything having to do with Charles Manson. I thought it was just uh, really weird. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's another scene where he tries to play bad cop to some of uh, Puss Good, Do Good's friends, or yeah. Dogwood's friends, yeah. where it just didn't ring true. Yeah, uh, I agree. Least favorite part for me, and I hope I can get past this. I think the Hound Ketchup is one of the most amazing inventions and, and, and takes the best writing there is. It doesn't work as a book? Well, unless maybe, you know, one of the names of Link or whatever. I mean, like, I, I, yeah, I don't. I, I'd love to read their. You know what I'd love to do? I'd actually love to read their screenplays or their teleplays. I would love to actually read You can those. actually, you can buy Prescription Murder. It's really cheap, the play version. So uh, I'll get us that if we want to read their original. I would love that. All right. I would love that. We will do it. All right. So we have a stitch in crime. Leonard Nimoy. Columbo goes to college. Uh, It's going to be a little bit down the road, but we'll get to this one eventually, and I'll get us prescription murder Mm -hmm. play. One more thing. Give us a like on here if you can. We have loved all this feedback. Uh, Even if we don't have it fact checked us, that's awesome. It's It's been a lot of fun. A Columbo fact checking group already cracks me up because that's what he would do. Yeah. 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 So. One more thing. 